Olympia last year. Richard Thompson, two Olympic silver medals from Beijing in 2008. 9.85 is best, took the record held by Atto Bolden. And uh, Galecio Newman of the United States was fourth in the US trials over 200 meters, reached the semi final in this event, the 100 meters. Well, Tyson Gay has had problems, surgery to repair a tear in his right hip. That was uh, beginning of uh, last year, or rather in the middle of last year, and cleared to do jogging only in October 2011. So Kimmons, Brater, Rogers, Lemaitre, Gay, Gatlin, Ashmead, Thompson, and Newman. The men's 100 meters. Gatlin on the left. Tyson Gay in the bright blue top. Gay twitching look. Well, pretty even the style. Gatlin's got away, and Tyson Gay's got a lot of work to do. Rogers going well on the inside, but here comes Gatlin and Tyson Gay, and Gay's going to get it. Gay gets it. Gatlin in second, and I have a feeling the Metro may well have sneaked the third place. And the time 9.99, and Justin Gatlin just taken by Tyson Gay. That's the reversal of the finishing positions in the US trials. He's coming back. He's still got another month. It may not be all about the Johan Blakes and Usain Bolts in this world, although both are exceptional, of course. And that time will not frighten the Jamaicans, but it's a signal that's the second time under 10 seconds this season for Tyson Gay. 9.86 in the US trials. But he had to work very hard. He said he came here for the start. He didn't quite get that. Gatlin did. Well, Tyson Gay's start was abysmal. Lemaitre there. Look, last place at halfway. He did come through to third. But Tyson Gay is back. I think is the message for me, Stuart, from that one. Because he's beaten Gatlin, who we know is in fabulous form. Don't let's forget, Gatlin's run 9.80 just last week. And Tyson Gay has overhauled him there in the last 30 metres. He's probably run about a metre and a half quicker through the second half of the race than Justin Gatlin. I think that's a very, very significant performance from Tyson Gay. Dreadful start, awful pick-up. But my goodness, when he got into his running off, about 50 or 60 meters he went steaming past Gatlin and you could see it happening you could see it coming and uh, you know let's remember Gatlin got a pretty strong start there easily the best of the main protagonists it was a fine competition we expected uh, the battle to be between the two and Lemaitre coming through into third place 10 0 8 he was looking for a sub 10 didn't quite get that but he's beaten some good guys in this race and uh, 10.03 to 10.08, he was only just behind uh, Justin Gatlin. So the wind speed, absolutely nil, naught. So just have another look at this. They're coming up very slowly, very slowly. And at this point, this is the point where lesser men would have crumbled because the tension in the shoulders would have developed. And Tyson Gay, look how far Gatlin is ahead. Rogers has got away well, too, on the near side. He really did. He faded a bit in the final stages, but he's a 60-meter specialist. But that was superb. There's the evidence. 9.99. Gatlin, 10.03. Lemaitre, 10.08. Ashmead coming through into fourth place at 10.14. Fine, fine race indeed for the men's 100. And what a good uh, tonic for Tyson Gay.